The government is offering a one-time cash grant of $200,000 to every household in Guyana. But before you rush to expect the cash, there are a few key details you need to know about how this will happen and how you can qualify. First off, what exactly is a household? This is where things get tricky. The government has to figure out who qualifies as part of a household, and this isn't always simple. During the last national census, there were just about 264,000 households officially recorded. But there are many cases where the census may not have captured every person or where people live in separate parts of a large property but still consider themselves not part of the same household. This creates a challenge when it comes to determining who gets the grant. To tackle this, the government will rely on data from utility companies like the Guyana Power & Light GPL or the Guyana Water Incorporated GWI. These companies keep records of who receives electricity and water in their homes. If your home is connected to the national electricity or water system, the government can use this data to identify whether your household qualifies. According to Vice President Dr. Barjak Dio, over 200,000 households are on GPL's grid and will be eligible. But here's where it gets even trickier for some people. If you live in areas that aren't connected to the national grid, or if you're in riverine communities, you wouldn't be in these utility records and this could affect your ability to claim the grant. Another challenge is when multiple families live together in one building or on a large property. For example, someone might live in separate sections of a house or there may be tenants living in buildings where the utility bills are in the same name of the property owner. In such cases, the government says if your name appears in the utility records, you can't claim more than one grant. Other families living in the same property will need to claim the grant separately. The key point is only legitimate households, including people who rent, can claim the grant and the government will ensure no one takes more than their fair share. To make sure everything is fair, the government is setting up strict checks. The Auditor General's office will be involved in monitoring the process to prevent fraud and misuse. This means they'll be keeping an eye on whether people are trying to claim more than they are entitled to. Now, what about people living in rural or remote areas? In these places, it's often harder to verify who lives where. For example, in rural areas, multiple families may share one house, or in some cases, the situation may be more complex. For these communities, the government will work with local leaders, such as Tushaus, in indigenous regions. These leaders will help with verifying households and ensuring that everyone who qualifies is properly included. Finally, who will not be eligible for the grant? Non-nationals, meaning people who are not citizens of Guyana, will not be able to claim this grant. Just like during the COVID-19 household grant, only legitimate Guyanese households will benefit. So, what happens next? The government is setting up systems to distribute the grants as quickly and fairly as possible. They are working with utility companies, local leaders and the Auditor General's office to make sure the process is transparent and everyone who qualifies gets their fair share. Key points to note. Every eligible household will receive $200,000. Data from utility companies will help determine who qualifies. Only legitimate households, including people who rent, can claim the grant. The Auditor General will ensure fairness. Non-nationals are not eligible. That's most of what you need to know about the $200,000 household grant. The government seeks to clarify it further in the coming days, and we'll continue to bring you updates as the process unfolds.